Has your view of the election changed? Does having a woman candidate impact your decision? It doesn't impact my decision about whether I'm voting or which party I'm voting for, but it's made me a lot more enthusiastic about participation. I feel that, you do. yes, in a lot of ways, having a woman president does impact my decision because there's just so many things right now going on in the world that are that I notice and stuff like that, which has a lot to do with sexism by men, etc. Which no hate towards anybody, Biden, Trump, whatever, not being biased at all. But I feel like a woman president would help a lot of these unnoticed issues be recognized. I think it shows young girls that they can do anything and that, you know, it's not always the men who are white or black men that can do it. It's women, black women, Hispanic women, they could all do it. I think it's a beautiful thing to see a woman going up for president. Do you feel that women's rights are under attack and will it bring more women to the polls? I feel that women's rights have been limited and that I feel we just got put in a corner for a while and that I feel now having a woman to stand up and tell us like hey y'all let's go you know it's our time it's going to bring a lot of attention to females and women all around that have things to say women's rights are 100 percent under attack there's no question about it I mean, and it's not just about the abortion rights issue, it's also about the way that children are treated, the way that education is tackled, the way that health care is tackled. These are all issues that really deeply affect women, and it's not to say they don't affect men too, but women are the ones that are often managing all these parts um, of a household. What are the three most important issues for you in this presidential election? Ooh, I mean, the first one is honestly just like the state of our democracy and our court system about how they've been systematically chiseled away. So that's a big one. Human rights is a big one. I think the way that um, previous administrations have treated migrants, the way that they've treated women is just absolutely atrocious. It's absolutely atrocious. Um, and just the free reign that hate speech has been given. I think also debt relief about how how the how they're treating debt relief for the common American. So like college loan forgiveness programs, how they're finances at financing education and health care so that people don't go broke paying for them. How do you think the candidates are in line with your views and which one do you think you're most leaning towards to vote for and why? Kamala just has like a lot of different perspectives of like things should or should not be said when it comes to trying to prove a point and Trump not with and Biden don't have any filter and she also shows a very good stand when it comes to professionalism and I feel like that says a lot to me and about a person I feel that she just brings out a very good message though when it does come to women about how we should have a voice like a lot more than said nowadays and that's why I feel like she has my vote not that just because I'm a feminist but she just makes herself hurt in a lot of ways. So I feel like that's important. I mean, Donald Trump is the antithesis of most of my views. I mean, I am a queer woman. He has basically challenged all of my fundamental rights as a human. I'm also somebody who suffers from a chronic illness and I worry about my health care rights. And I'd say that there are some things I differ with um, Kamala Harris on, but it's much closer to how I believe. Um, it's not even a question, I'm voting for her. I believe she can make change better than anybody else has. And I think it's beautiful to see a woman run for president. And I hope she gets it. <laughs>